Hello everyone, I am Sergio Alvarez and today we'll be learning about the Pythagorean Theorem. Now, before we jump into the Pythagorean Theorem, there are a couple things we must know about this right triangle. The reason I know this is a right triangle is because of this little box. This little box serves as an indicator that this angle measures 90 degrees. Let's learn something about the sides. A right triangle has one side that is longer than the other two. The longest side of a right triangle can always be found across the 90 degree angle. This side is the longest side of my right triangle. This side is called the hypotenuse. Notice that the two sides that create the 90 degree angle form the letter L. L for legs. These are the legs of the right triangle. We will call this side leg A and this side leg B, or vice versa, but we'll keep this set up for now. Okay, we're ready to learn the Pythagorean Theorem. The Pythagorean Theorem says that in all right triangles, the sum of the area of the two squares on the legs, A and B, equals the area of the square on the hypotenuse. I know what you're thinking right about now. Ah! What does it all mean? It's simple, really. It means that if we add a square to leg A and a square to leg B, then the sum of the area of these two squares is equal to the area of the square on the hypotenuse. Since this is a squared, then each side must measure A. The area of a square is equal to length times width. So the area here is A squared. Similarly, this is a square, so each side must measure B. The area of this square is B squared. Finally, this square has sides of H, which makes the area H squared. And with this, we can see the Pythagorean equation, a squared plus b squared equals h squared. Or, in other words, leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. Okay, we are ready to do some math. In this example, we must find the value of x. Let's start by identifying the sides of the right triangle. The hypotenuse can be located across the 90 degree angle. In this example, x is the hypotenuse. These two sides form the letter L, so these sides must be the legs. Now I can set up my problem using the Pythagorean equation. Leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. I know that six and eight are my legs, so I'll write 6 squared plus 8 squared. x is my hypotenuse, so I'll finish by writing equals x squared. 6 squared is 6 times 6. 8 squared is 8 times 8. I'll bring down my x squared. 6 times 6 is 36. 8 times 8 is 64. Now we are left with 100 equals x squared. We'll square root both sides of the equation, and we have x equals 10. Now let's try a word problem. A painter is on top of a 35-foot ladder that is leaning against a house. The base of the ladder is 21 feet from the base of the house. If the painter were to fall, how far down would his fall be? Drawing a picture is an excellent strategy to solving word problems. Here, we have our painter on top of a ladder that is 35 feet long. The base of the ladder is 21 feet from the base of the house. The problem is asking, if the painter were to fall, how far down would his fall be? So we are looking for this side. Let's label this side X. Notice this creates a right triangle. So we can solve this problem by using the Pythagorean equation. Let's start by identifying the sides of the right triangle. 
we can locate the hypotenuse by looking across the 90 degree angle. In this case, 35 is our hypotenuse. The remaining two sides must be my legs. The Pythagorean equation says that leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. I know that 21 and x are my legs and that 35 is my hypotenuse. So I'll write 21 squared plus x squared equals 35 squared. 21 squared is 441. I'll bring down my x squared. And 35 squared is 1,225. Now we can subtract 441 from both sides of the equation to isolate the x variable. x squared equals 784. Finally, we square root both sides of the equation and x equals 28. So if the painter falls, he will fall 28 feet down. Earthquake drill. Ah! Let's do one final problem. John wants to put his TV for sale on Craigslist. The only problem is that John forgot the inches on his TV. TVs are advertised by the inches of the diagonal. John knows the width of the TV is 45 inches and the height is 28. How many inches should John advertise his TV as? So once more, we will draw a picture to illustrate the word problem. The width of the TV is 45 inches and the height is 28 inches. We are looking for the inches of the diagonal. Notice this picture creates a right triangle. We can solve this problem by using the Pythagorean equation. I'll start by looking for the hypotenuse. I'll look across the 90 degree angle, and there it is. X is the hypotenuse. These two sides must be my legs. So I'll write 28 squared plus 45 squared equals X squared. 28 squared is 784. 45 squared is 2025. 784 plus 2025 equals 2809. Now we can square root both sides of the equation and X equals 53. Now John can advertise his 53 inch TV on Craigslist. Well, that's it for our show. Thanks for watching. I am Sergio Alvarez, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, uh huh, you know what it is. Sokotoa, 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 Sokotoa. Yeah, uh huh, you know what it is. Sokotoa, 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 Sokotoa. Yeah, uh huh, you know what it is.